These bad people, they live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Hello, and welcome to part one of Downfall. I guess it's English because I don't speak those other languages, I'm afraid. So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster, my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Oh, right. We're playing the prologue. Okay. Uh, should we follow this? What's he banging on about? Still got that weird scrolling issue that cat lady had. What detailed environments though? Precariously placed. Uh, look. Easy there, Tiger. Hi. Nice day, eh? Huh? What's it like to be the prettiest girl in town? If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Good God. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, just, you know. Hi. 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 Nice day, huh? Nice day, huh? If you say so. Really? I've got to say everything. I forgot what I was going to say. You should eat more sunflower seeds. Why? Vitamin E. Good for memory. <laughs> Uh, really? 
Well, since it's the sequel to the prequel to the cat lady. If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. So creepy. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Sure. Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Do you live around here? Nice flowers. I know a place where cats go to die. Duh. Yeah, let's be creepy. I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die when they're old or sick. It's really weird. I can show you. But I should probably wait for my mom. Yes, you probably should. Nice flowers. Yeah, but I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you like ice cream? Mama says it's bad for me. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just... never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. This is supposed to be England, is it? Okay, you could have fooled me. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside, eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. About that cat place. Yeah? <laughs> there are some nice red flowers not far from there. But... I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, I've got the control again. Uh, I guess this way to the... no? Then back the way I came. Um, we're going to some cat cemetery, I guess. them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. Fair enough. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. <laughs> All right, cool. Come on in. Is this it? Yep. But it's 
just one cat. And it's not even dead. <laughs> I bet it's a zombie cat. They turn when they're out of lives. They don't. Trust me. Zombie cats are real. The giant ones are the worst. Yeah? Do they eat brains? You bet. Ha ha ha. Don't be silly. All cats are great, but you don't really like cats, do you? I was just fooling with you. Of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Then let's go see if he likes us. Don't let it bite you. Your turn. Aw, you're such a lovely pussycat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. See? He likes you too. Wow. Cats never really let me touch them. It's nice, isn't it? It makes you... It makes you fall in love. It's Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream. Hey Brady. You're gonna kidnap us. Brady's such a nice guy, he's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream. Sounds good. Why am I buying it then? Hey Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Uh, that one. A coconut cone, please. Coconut coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Why not? Because... No. Just... No. Don't you like ice cream? I do. But... It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but... I can't. Mm. She'll have the same as me. I said no, and no means no. Fair enough, Donna. I didn't have an option to not say shit. You should probably go after her, dude. A lot of walking in this prologue. I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I... I freak out sometimes. It's okay. Are we good? We're good. Fist bump. <laughs> no. I found it! Really? Yes! It's right where he said it was. But I kind of need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up oh, the next Christ, day. Oh, Christ, really? No. Really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. 
and it's just sitting there, waiting for us. <laughs> Give me a break, it. How did you even get in there? There's a hole in the fence. Come on, I'll show you. I almost got it. I can't do it on my own. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Okay, lead the way, bro. Yay! Just remember, it's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. I'm just gonna get fucked up by gangsters. This? See the big X? <laughs> you never said we were looking for pirate treasure. I don't care whose treasure it is. You should. There. Want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. It's a concrete slab. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Yeah, well, now I'm. Yeah, no, can I? Thank you. Alright. Hey, I think I found what we need. Okay. Alright. Uh, use up, down arrows to... Use down arrows to open inventory, scroll with left and right, select with enter. Okay. Money. What is it? Step away, both of you. It's grenades. A great bowl of freaking grenades. No. But where's the money? There is no money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah. But first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, Robbie! Yeah, come on, for fuck's sake. Robbie's, Robbie's gonna get blown to smithereens. No! I said come here right now. Be a chicken like you? No way. I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. Don't do this to me, Robbie. Oh, boom. Do you think we can?
Well, there goes Robbie. <laughs> I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. Okay. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out. The crack started to show. But I knew how to fix it. Oh, okay. All right, well, new game it is then. <laughs> Start with subtitles on, please. like they're saying, welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like you. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again, especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. Whatever I did, I'm. I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. What have I done? We were driving, 
and then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Okay. Hello? Is anybody there? Perception my last cause. The police. Because you're a dick. So this is the guy we're going to be playing, huh? <laughs> teacup. Oh, Teacup was the uh, cat from the cat lady. Her favourite cat. Take him. Ivy? Where are you going? Uh, let's find out. Devil came through here. What? What is that even supposed to mean? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? Uh, afraid no. No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They, they will. No! Get away from him! I have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big bad flesh eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Um, this is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I, I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get Thanks. to our room. Get All some right. sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Um, maybe we should listen to your crazy wife and just get the fuck out of it. And again, she's probably not crazy. We're probably crazy. Let's Anyone in the kitchen? Guess not. Alright, kitchen's locked. It's time to leave. Hello. Oh. May I help you? 
We have a, a little problem. My wife, she, she's not feeling too well. Is there a pharmacy still open? Oh my, not a headache, is it? Yeah, kinda. Something like that. What a shame. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do tonight, especially with the storm coming. There's a doctor staying in the hotel, though. He's practically a resident. We call him Dr. Z, a German chap. Talk to him in the morning. He might help. Right. Thanks. Uh, if this is set in England, you'd call him Dr. Z, but whatever. We'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. Are we? We do have one room so left. We came here without making Seaside a reservation. View, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Okay. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? Uh, no. No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. In a seaside town like this, I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar, too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. I'd never told you my one. name. You'll be much safer in Quiet Haven tonight. Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Yeah. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. No. I hope you don't mind. She did. Most certainly. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. Did she? God, you're making me question myself. So I don't trust her. It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Take the key and we're going to stab it in the fucking eye and we're leaving. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. <laughs> Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Room 101, huh? What a surprise. Room 101 is where you throw things you don't want. We're leaving. See ya. Ugh. Right then, I guess. Oh, we're... and one more thing. What? What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you mean. It's not my fault your walls are paper thin. But we're going straight to bed anyway, so yeah. I really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Stab her. Yeah, go on. I, I'm done with you, Ivy. Let's go. We can't leave. Mm -hmm. An elephant. Okay. Uh, this way. 
<laughs> well, it's not like cut up another floor. She did say they're watching us through the mirror, mate. Oh, sorry, I came the wrong way. Sorry, Ovi. Just dragged you over to a mirror. Cool of light in effect, though. Alright, let's wake her up now. Sorry, Joe. What is happening to me, Joe? I don't know. I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now... I don't even know who I am anymore. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How else should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. And... I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there, in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in... blood. Yeah, that's what kinda happens to you in the future. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me? Deserves to be loved. Fine, let's do this. Where do we start? I never get tired of talking to you. Oh, and this. That thing you do when you laugh, I love it. But most of all, I guess, I... I can be myself around you. You never get tired of talking to me because we never talk anymore. We stopped talking a long time ago and you know that. And stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this. 
And finally, you are wrong thinking you know who you are. Because you're lost, Joe. Just like me. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday. It's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. Fine. I'll say it. We're finished. Good. So we're over the bridge now. This is how we both feel. That's cool. It's okay. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m. Don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. Well then. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. Ah, oh, we're gonna go meet the Queen of Maggots. Yep. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Yeah. The community members, Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there's something inside. Cool. It's locked, but maybe I could just force it open. Force it. Damn, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Fair enough, let's go find something. I remember this guy Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. No, even though I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. They're always wilted. It's the doors of the basement, nobody goes down there anymore. Ha, <laughs> let's go. Nah. So this is definitely set before the cat lady because that door was barred by that cupboard. Oh, locker rather. Looks like it's been oh looks like it's been moved recently. Oh, okay, so this is after the cat lady. This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? I don't know, Joe. What book is it? Oh, it's Misery. Right, yeah, I remember that. And the, the cat magnet. Nope, oh, shit. Hey, there's the thing we need to pry. Yep. Let's go back over here. Use it. Take it. Ah, read it. Oh. It's from Frank Zellman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. There's a ten pound note and a key inside. Weird. Why would anyone send me this? I like rusty keys. Whatever, whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. 
Okay, and ten. Ten bob. Why would anyone send me money? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. No. Okay. Brick wall. Great. The staircase has been blocked by this wall. Okay then, let's use the key on this door. No, there should be a mannequin over here. Oh. Nope, it's gone. Oh no, there it is. And there's Susan's cat clock. Our oh, cat Lucy would love this toy clock. Cool. Oh, what did I miss here? Who's there? Hey, who are you? It's a good question. I can barely see. Let's go. Oh, it's me with an X. Okay, shit. Well then. I didn't get to the switch. No. Ivy? Wait. She must have already gone downstairs. Well, I am already. It's breakfast time. Is it? Sweet Jiminy. It's very old. Great. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. Okay. Well, Ivy's clearly already dead. Single beds, no, that's not all right. We've been together for nearly ten years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. Yeah, come on in. Can't use that. Nope. Let's uh, did it say if? Yeah, there we go. Right. So apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get in there yet then? No. Okay. Um. I'm just going to check this room out again. Storm still brewing. Anything else to say about that? Nope. Okay. Let's go downstairs for breakfast then, but it doesn't look like 8am to me. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Well, I've unlocked the cellar door, is it? Okay. What about my inventory? Oh, wait, I've still got the £10 from my dream. And the cat clock. Okay. Uh, I don't know. This way, I guess. Um, why have you... Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? No. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, Mr. Davis. Such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. We're gonna stab you in the eye. Where the fuck is my wife. Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Who is Sophie? Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 
102. Oh. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. <sighs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that Sophie. I know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. Um, let's ask about all the dead human animal things. What the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet, they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Yeah. Who are you? You're the what Queen of Maggots, aren't you? question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that, Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They saved the most important thing me, of the I day. Knew that was coming. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Smash her in the face with this clock, Joe. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Hey, you. You should probably be dead. So I guess stroking you at the start of the game is what's caused all this shit. Hey, come on. little bastard. Ugh. Let's just bail, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, this broke me now. Suddenly upstairs, you did. You don't notice that, Joe. We've climbed an entire floor. I don't know something with a big cat's eye. No idea. And then these up. Oh right, they're moving. Okay. So I guess I need to get something on the mirror, and that's the door I need to open. Right. Well, that looks like donkey. That that keeps moving. No idea. Is that a pig or a cow, maybe? Which way now? Oh, I don't know, Joe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, three. Okay, all I did was turn the lights off. And I guess I've just switched realities. Okay.
Well, that painting looks a lot weirder than it used to look. No. Huh. Okay. Does he need to say about that? Okay. I didn't examine this clock, do I? No. Oh. Okay, well we're going to give it to the cat. I need to find the cat though. The cat just fucked off. Can I try another door now or have I fucked it? Okay. No, okay, obviously the wrong door yet again. Okay. Out, come in again, I guess. And back we go. Yep, cool. Alright then. Now oh, for love, Pete. I've already tried door number three, so. See what's on, Joe. Oh, we're on the telly, Joe. Cool. Then enter. Stranger. That would explain the draft. Hey kitty. Oh for goodness sake. Oh well, we're gonna go see our brother. Whoa. As he explodes. Okay, it's the door then. Ah, alright then. So we're still in the dream now, I take it. <sighs> yeah. Anything new? No, just about Bob. And we still can't go upstairs. Okay. I'm avoid getting axed by myself this time, shall I? There you are. Who? The cat. Ah. Hello, little mister. Mrs. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Okay. I'm gonna use it anyway. Yeah, we're going to catch you in the furnace. And we know what the cat likes. Likes the clock. Hey, little man. God damn it. No, I... For goodness sake, did you just burn my cat? Damn it, Joe. This is not on. But I suppose that does make retrieving the key easier now that the cat is no more. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Use the ah, use the use the magnet. Let's try this. Lovely. I've got it. Okay, let's just get out of here. The hell out of here. <laughs> That was really cool. What? How did I? You never left, Joe. <laughs> this is all part of your psychosis. Right, well, we got the key, so let's go. Recognize this mirror room from the cat lady. And it had his dead wife staring at all the mirrors in the TV. Because, uh, as you remember from the cat lady, he was the guy in the cellar with Ivy, but Ivy was massive because he was just feeding her human flesh to make her better. Why is she wearing a mask? Because you cut her face. Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away, so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. Did you say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been... Looking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing do you want to see just look into one of these broken mirrors here go on see it for yourself okay i'll do it which one any any huh Yourself. 
Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. Uh... It's very simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. <laughs> there are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. This is the madness, Joe. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. As a mask, Nick. Don't hurt that way. I. I don't. Some bleach. I'll do it myself, Joe. Well, then do it yourself. I think that old fool Doctor Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. This is so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Oh, I know you will. Oh, all right then. Fuck you, Sophie. It's the phone downstairs, isn't it? Isn't it? Was was there a phone in the room? I can't remember. But the mirror's fucked. Oh, what's this? Read it. I miss you. You know. We were good together. Always there. When I was falling, and bad felt better every time with you. Okay, Joe. Uh huh. Is that it? Right, let's bail. I got a feeling he wasn't, you know, in the cat lady when you saw him in the basement. He was trying to save Ivy by feeding the monster. Maybe, I don't know. 
Let's so guess. Let's go right to the top. I don't appear to have a reflection, Joe. Okay, I guess we can't go to the third, fourth floor then. Let's try the third. Private, private party. Invitations only. Okay, it's dark inside. I guess the party hasn't started yet, but we didn't have an invitation, Joe. Yeah. Lovely party. Shame I wasn't invited. Painting of a lady wearing a heart. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Look closer, then. She's a pretty girl. She's got a nasty smile on her face. I feel like her... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Oh, well, this crazy one. Alright, we can't examine the, that one. Thing, that one. Fine. Bathroom door. Random. Oh, blood all over the bathroom door. Great. Well, then. Lovely party. <laughs> she slashed her wrists in a bath. What a nasty way to die. So this is all the various ways the, the monster has killed her, I guess. I don't know. Take it. Could come in handy when we want to shoot up. Examine. It's pretty obvious she blew her head off with a shotgun. Take the shotgun. Those stiff dead fingers will never loosen their grip on the gun. No. Okay. What a damn What's a damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Turn the knobs. Nothing happens. No. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Okay. Well, we need to go turn the gas supply on then. Oh, it's Sophie. She must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Then oh. She looks half dead already. Cool. Let's have a word. Yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah. Yes, me. Where's the wife? My wife. You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> well, we gotta kill him, so kill him. Hey, we should get a cat. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. No. Oh, okay. Not like this. I'll find another way. Yeah, we'll gas the bitch, set her on fire. Uh, let's go find a way to turn the gas on. It's on the second floor, Joe. Do 
between Tales of the British game because we have a ground floor and a first floor. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh, yes. The lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? That's well, what I go just on said. then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. I'm gonna chuck you out the window. I don't want you. Leave me alone. Stop fighting it. You and Ivy are done. She doesn't want you. It's time to move on. It's not for you to decide. Fine. Get on with your wild goose chase. There's no rush. But come find me in my office later. You'll see what a naughty girl I am. She's clearly one of the Sophies. Corridor. Room 201, room 202, another corridor, okay, let's check the corridor first, another crazy painting, Six, five, two, four. Oh, no. Yep. It's a vending machine that sells bags of cigarettes. Push it. No. Oh. Shake it. The vending machine that sells packs of cigarettes. I quit this a long ago, but man, I can redo really the smoke now. And you know what we're gonna do, Joe? We're gonna buy you some cigarettes. No, no, no! The pack got stuck. Oh, Joe! Come out, you damn thing! Come out! Yeah, talking to it is not gonna do it. Shake it. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. <laughs> and shake it. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Oh, Jesus fuck Christ. Stab that syringe in your eye. Alright, come on in. Just wasted my ten pound note on a pack of cigarettes I can't even That's a lovely happy family. Man, nearly killed us. Oh, that flipped me out for a minute there. Huh? Okay then, right, well, I guess start with the rooms and see what happens. Glass bowl. It's like a terrarium for a spider. Take it. What the fuck? A lever. Tempting! Yes! Hit the lever! I'm not sure what it does. Oh, better. Oh, come on! And that's a lovely chair. Hello, Dr. Z! What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. What's going on here? 
Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. What bad things? Don't tell me you didn't notice. The whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're, they're all right. Watching. You're crazy. No, 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 no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. I'm trying to find my wife. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Let's talk to Z. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man. What the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. Uh, why are you performing an autopsy? So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Well, there's a Lazarus sign and it's a rebirth. Who is she? Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is... Sophie? Agnes. Oh, okay. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. Okay. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. <laughs> he said it. He said the name. <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to say this to a doctor. You're full of shit. Then give me a chance to prove you wrong. I know how to fix this. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? I think I've already got it. <sighs> Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. Yeah. I'll get everything ready. Oh, okay then. Let's go help Dr. Z do his brain surgery. Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock, and it's getting louder! Right, Dr. Z, chill the fuck out. Uh, Alright, let's kill ourselves. Oh, okay. Let's bail then. To the cellar, good sir. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, this way. I think it does make sense to go upstairs to get to the cellar, but I'm not here to argue with Dr. Z. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Yeah. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna grab everything, dude. What's the bottle? It's a bottle of castor oil. Never to be consumed with blueberry pies. What? Just take it. The light is already on. Turn it off then. 
Hey, that's what I wanted to see. Stain sessions were surely sent down here for cleaning. It's of no use to me, but maybe there's something in the pockets. There's a key inside. Awesome. Oh, don't you open that. I wouldn't even notice it if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. Ah, that's why we turn the light off. Open it. Look, feed me. Don't you open? Whoa! Hey, gas supply. Turn that on. Yeah, it's currently set to the off position. Not anymore. I switched it on. You did indeed, Joe. Hello. Whoa. I do I know this person? I, I don't know, Joe. Remove the skin flap. Oh, it's a crack in the door. Say so production values on this game compared to the cat later. Wow. Thanks for doing the dishes. Thanks. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just, I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried. You know, this whole. Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. She's gonna come in here and throw up, isn't she? Yeah. Come on in, you... Nothing like a bit of bulimia. Who's done this? Oh dear. Okay. Oh, you little bit. You stupid cat. Chill out. Where are ya? Oh Jesus. We need to get the shit out of here. Um, hello. What earth is that? Oh, how's it going? It's Queen Maggots. This brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked to fetch from the cellar? <laughs> I bet my last cigarette that it is. No, we don't have any cigarettes, Joe. The machine ain't on money. 
I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Yeah, the glass thing. Can I, I can't. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. Oh, okay. Well, we got any. All these bottles, are they poison? My god. Hey, so You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? I'm gonna go the Star Wars route. Blue, colour of the sky, water, and no, her eyes were never blue, they were green. Okay. Red makes me think of blood, danger, and fire. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the blue milk. carrying the brain safely yet, okay, so. I can do this later, the girl, she asked me to turn as soon as I the point. Alright, come on then. Was room 201, was it? No, the fifth door on the first floor. She's in here. Hey, I'll stab you in the eye. The syringe? Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But will it hurt? But what if I ain't got the right poison? <laughs> doesn't matter. You'll be dead soon enough. You heartless son of a... Hey, you're the one who wants to die, but bitch. But really, that's okay. I get it. You will never understand others. You never did. Will you at least help me do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. No, I'll draw I that. I don't. I can't do it myself. You're pathetic, no. girl. Please. I'm begging you. You want to die, kill yourself. You can still redeem yourself, Joe. <sighs> Fine. Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. I'd say that was a successful murder. Oh, that's one Sophie down. The body's gone, I knew she wasn't real, but what's the stress still doing here? Take it. Anything else? Let's bail. Uh, let's go turn the gas on and gas the other one. Oh, we need to go to the lift. Let's 
Second floor, please. Oh, wrong button. Don't. Was it second floor or third? No, it was second floor. Oh, Joe. And in here we go. Oh, oh no, this was the dock. Where the bloody hell? Oh, they're up. They're on the third floor in the, in the bathroom. Okay, what happens if I go back in the room? Still can't take the shotgun. Okay. Try the other rooms on the second floor. Right, let's try this room here. Okay, let's try. Should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? No. Oh no, there he is. Okay then. Have I got a key? I have. Kitchen. Ah, oh, I've got the kitchen key. Right, 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 right. And screw all this joke. <laughs> Did I pick up cast one? Oh, so that's how I can get the brain. Alright, well we're here now. So, let's open the kitchen door. Oh look, a blender. It's one big blender, so we can blend up that brain. It's empty. Okay. Oh! A pig, a rotten pig. Uh, look closer. Take that ice pick. Huh. Open the freezer. Take the ice. All right, Joe. Always something for you. Joe, you've got a vessel. Wunderbar. Talk to. Well, let's find out. I know you're just a uh, 
pig, but I want to tell you this. <laughs> uh, sup? Sup? Okay, that's all I could ever say to it. Fine. Anyway, let's go get the brain. And we can come back and blend it. Oh no, it's cellar. Cellar, 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 cellar. carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. What? I bet my last cigarette that it is. Okay. You're confusing the hell out of me, Joe. But maybe I should take a closer look at the body first. What? What's the cast of Oh right, I've got to do it like that, have I? Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. Good. Do you reckon they gassed enough? Whatever I have to set them on fire. Since I can... I've switched it off now. Right, cool. Alright, let's go see the quack. I see you have it. Yeah. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. You're right, Dr. Z. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it, anyway. Fingers crossed, Doc. Fingers crossed, Doc. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here? Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push. Hmm, maybe this way. It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Okay, dog. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! Success. So 
this is how you do brain transplants. Now I'm sure you really are, man. I'm beginning to wish I'd never met you. So this is, so how, this you is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. <laughs> hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time. Is it? For the machine. Ah. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead. Have you forgotten? Uh, no. No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Hit the lever. Hey, yeah, it's podcast. How's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got your info. Thanks for getting it to me. All is well, mate. I hope the same is well with you and yours. Right, pull it. Nice one, Doc. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. No, no, no. Let me get anyway. <laughs> Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid fuse. We're not sitting in the chair. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's sit in the chair. Alright. Okay, well. I'm gonna go for another ten minutes and then I'm gonna call it. Hello? Whoa. Where? What is. Hello? Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurry you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. You're naked? I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. Sorry, I've got a dress. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Yeah, I've, uh... Bring me some clothes. Yeah, right. I don't want to sit here all day. All right, there. <laughs> Where? Here, put this on. Really? A wedding dress? Well, that's what I can find, love. Be the bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, and why's that? Come on, a zombie in a wedding dress. This is perfect. First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And secondly, watch who you're calling a zombie. Yeah, Joe. Cause I ain't no freaking zombie, all right? Are you a zombie? Yep. Would you like me to call you a zombie? Go for it. Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Okay then. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? Uh, kinda? You can't kinda butcher somebody. What are you? An expert at butchering? No, 
a normal sane person? Ha! Did that fool you? Hello. How do I look? I'm like a bride. <laughs> good. You, yeah, you look good. I do? Mm, yeah, sure. Thank you. So, good, but not great? Actually? You know what? You you do look great. Yep, totally great. Green eyes. Very pretty. Lovely posture. And the hair? It's very long and black. Oh, stop it. I meant the dress. Huh? I know damn well my eyes are green and my hair is black. What I want to know is this. How do I look in this dress? So, g great. I'm warning you. How would you know your eyes are green? He has, but you're a brain from a different body. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Was it a really hot, totally out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big headed, looks obsessed, and really shallow, deep inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. How do I look? Oh, Christ. Um... Different than I expected. Yeah? And what exactly did you expect? Let me guess. Some sexy blonde bimbo with breasts the size of grapefruits? I, I mean, watermelons? <laughs> Not at all. You're wrong. I'm not like that. No, you're wrong. What? Not all grapefruits grow to be the size of cannonballs. Ugh. Okay, let's just rewind for a second. Okay. How do I look? Good God. I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate somebody else now. Well, tough luck, Mr. Fussy. I'm sure you'll find lots of pretty dead girls just lying around waiting for you. But for now, you're kind of stuck with me, I'm afraid. Is that all right? Is it that much of an inconvenience? You might not have the looks, but at least you've got the brains. Boom. And how do you know? I put it inside your head with my own hands. Don't be disgusting. I did. Whatever. Fine. You want to know how you look? Yes. But no sugarcoating. We're still stuck at this question. Oh, that one. Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? <laughs> I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color. <sighs> and it's a bit tight around the waist. It's white, love. But I guess you can't afford to be picky no, beggars when you wake be. up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Uh, do you listen to your name? What are you going to do? How did you die? How did you die? I can't remember or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. Yeah. I'm not. She's not I'm a corpse, nice, mate. happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. Well, what are you going to do then? What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I guess not. Uh, we're decent. Work, work starting to pick up, sounds good. But I'm also in the process of trying to switch departments. Oh, well, good luck with that, dude. Yeah, definitely better hours, better pay. 
It's all good. Well, all the best, mate. Um, sorry, but I'll try, but I can't promise anything. What if I'm the big bad wolf? Yeah, what if I'm the one? And what if I am the big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. <laughs> this is the sequel slash prequel to The Cat Lady. And uh, it's just, I'd say a point and click adventure, but there's no real pointing and clicking. <laughs> but it's that kind of idea. And we just turned up this hotel with a wife. Um, when we were kids, my brother blooms all of the hand grenade. And then when we got here, wife went crazy, and now she's disappeared, and everything's mental. Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. I am. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Uh -huh. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. No, oh, are we going to give a list of names? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Save Martha. Uh, you reckon it's Agnes? We did come across an Agnes, didn't we? But we're gonna go for Save. I think your name was Martha. Martha? Why did you say wow. that name? It's incredible. <laughs> so, I was right? No, but it's incredible that you just said a totally random name hoping to be right. I mean, what are the chances? I have a lot going on. You can tell me now. <sighs> it's Agnes. Yay. Doesn't sound like Martha. Not even a bit. Okay. It's nice to meet you. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh... So you are Joe Davis. Yep. Of course. Now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I got a letter. I had it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So, I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it, but since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Oh, hey, Joe. Run! Or, or not, Agnes. That's it. Well, see you later, Agnes. Oh, and I'm dead too. Is that game over? Continuous Joe, continuous Agnes. It's continuous Agnes. Okay. Well, we'll just wake up and then... Are we able to... Alright, cool. Well, this is pretty crazy. It's very different to the Cat Lady in terms of its narrative. I really don't know what's going on. I've got a feeling that... At first I had a feeling that no one survived the grenade at the beginning, but we saw Joe in the cat lady feeding the monster. So yeah, I'm not sure. So what we're gonna do is that 
and cool yeah so I'll leave it there for now I've done two hours on this which is more than I was planning on doing but that's fine so we'll continue this uh, next Saturday and tomorrow should be the next part of uh, Silent Hill 1 then I'll be back on Wednesday hopefully with Swifty Keen for part 2 of Biohazard on the Sega Saturn and uh, then after that hopefully on Friday more Tomb Raider so yeah have a great rest of your weekend and uh, hopefully we'll catch you tomorrow or Wednesday, Friday, etc. Thanks for tuning in. All the best.